I'm up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1968 Chevelle for $29.9. That's Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. You can give us a call, 615-822-4444. So that's stock number 279-68 Chevrolet Chevelle. I'm gonna take a little walk around it, pick out any flaws I can find. This is a beautiful car, guys. The paint job looks awesome, it's shining. Interior is nice, it runs and drives good. It's got a 396 big block in it. This car is an automatic car. But I'm gonna do a little walking around it and try to pick out any kind of flaws I can find, so. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them. The bumpers look nice and clean. I don't think I'll find too many paint flaws on this. But we'll see. Oh, a little overspray down here on the black. There's a chip also right here at the bottom. Screws missing from this. There's some wax left on there. I thought it was a fade, but just a little wax left. Top's in good shape. The seals look good on this one all around the windows. Everything looks nice and solid. Try to remind myself to open the trunk here in a second. I'm gonna make my way back around. We'll look in it, see if it's leaking. We've had some rain come through, so we can tell. Bumpers are look new, both front and rear. I'll tell you what that grill might be as well. This is a very beautiful car, guys. There's some little chips down here on the bottom. So this is good. Even the little carpet they put goes around the windows. All right, well, while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna grab the trunk keys. I always forget to do the trunk. 
I get to talking about them. This one didn't have too many flaws on the paint, so I'm trying. I'm digging for some. Ooh, the seals are new around the trunk. They literally had it suction cupped on there. I'm not seeing any leaks in here. No water. Well, that's glued down. All right. This is a 396. It's mildly built. So it's got some disc brakes. It's just on the front. Yeah, it was just on the front. Drum brakes in the back. Hood's nice and clean underneath. Headliner's nice and clean. Whoever had this car took care of it, that's for sure. I don't think this one's gonna last very long at this price. Like I said, when I look over these cars, I'm actually looking over them with my camera. Right now, it's the first time I've went over the whole car. Same with my test drives. Almost every video that I do, it's the first time I've driven the car, so. But this one seems pretty awesome. All right. She is idled down low. If I had a screwdriver with me, I'd idle it up a little bit. But. That's 40 on the miles. The voltmeter does not work, everything else does. So. Right. That looks like it's been replaced as well. I knew she was gonna die. It's just idled down so low. Let's 
start her back up. I'm gonna have to idle her up before I can get the motor video. Looks like I reach in there and turn it and come out here and hold the gas for it. Let's try. We'll give her a couple pumps. And that'll hold it long enough. If I had a screwdriver here with me, I, would, I wouldn't have to worry about it. Just gonna idle her up. Somebody idled her way down. It does have a cool cam sound. But that right there would get annoying. <laughs> but I'll have this thing tuned up as soon as I get back to the lot. One twist of a screwdriver and that's not a problem. But I hope you like my video. I do little walk arounds like this on every single car. I've got a driver video of this where you drive it around town and I take you all with me. I point out any flaws on that as well. I appreciate you watching. If you want any more uh, detailed pictures, I've got a hundred on my website. You can check that out at maplemotors.com. I've also got other muscle cars on the website you can check out. Um, if you wanna to talk to somebody on the phone about this car, you can give me a call, 615-622-4444. I'll be happy to talk to you. I appreciate y'all watching and thanks again, guys. Guys, just got her back to the lot. We're gonna check for a vacuum leak, make sure that's not what's killing it. But like I said, turn that idle screw up just a little. Again, adjust it out from there. That actually sounds pretty good. Now we don't have to worry about her dying out, so. But we'll also check for a vacuum leak, just to make sure there's not one. But the way it runs, I don't think there is. I think it was just the idle was set too low. All right, I appreciate y'all watching.